What up guys? We are in uh, Big Bend and we're about to take Old Maverick Road. Beautiful. Uh, it's always cool being able to see, you know, parts of the country or world that's only accessible. Uh, two wheels. Oh, we gotta get back over in that lane. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure why I just looked down there. But, woo, got bumpy real quick. how bumpy that uh, one there is. I mean, this is not too much different than riding on a natural road, you know, but uh, the only reason why, I mean, I, to be honest, I bet you could get down here on a regular old-fashioned street bike, at least so far, this part now, you might not be going 30 or 40 miles per hour, but, oh, look at that, it's a nice little canyon, some shades, pass, some shades,
surprised that I was standing here would be so bad. I don't know why I'm going so slow. <laughs> Just being silly, I guess. Cautious or scared. Who knows? Ah, crap. Ah, uh, yeah. So, honestly, like, the road's not that bad. But, that's also a good reason not to be flying around corners out here. Because this guy's on a snail crawl. Look how beautiful that is. See, this is why I really like the idea, especially here in the off-road, of this 360 camera, right? So, I can basically keep my focus on what's in front of me and, you know, peek over a little bit at the beautiful views or hopefully catch them when I'm uh, looking around them, you know? But, uh... With that 360 camera, I'm, in theory, hopefully capturing all of it. So hopefully there's no, there's no concern, right? But you don't know what's over this hill. Especially with the little cars going five miles per hour. So if you're ripping and roaring on, you know, streets like this, where there could be cars, versus yesterday where if there was a car, you know, shit. Um, I mean, there were some cars yesterday. But if you're ripping and roaring, you're going over top of those hills, you gotta slam on the brakes. And I think everyone knows slamming on brakes and gravel is not, uh, not always the best idea.